Christ. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Remind your people that it is their duty to be obedient to the officials and representatives of the government, to be ready to do good at every opportunity, not to go slandering other people or picking quarrels, but to be courteous and always polite to all kinds of people. Remember there was a time when we too were ignorant, disobedient, and misled, and enslaved by different passions and luxuries. We lived then in wickedness and ill will, hating each other and hateful ourselves. But when the kindness and love of God our Saviour for mankind was revealed, it was not because he was concerned with any righteous actions we may have done ourselves. It was for no reason except his own compassion that he saved us by means of the cleansing water of rebirth, and by renewing us with the Holy Spirit, which he did so generously, which he so generously poured over us through Jesus Christ our Saviour. He did this so that we should be justified by his grace, to become heirs looking forward to inheriting eternal life. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me to revive my drooping spirit. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me along the right path. He is true to his name. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You are there with your crook and your staff. With these you give me comfort. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and ever. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Through the good news, God called us to share the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus travelled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered one of the villages, ten lepers came to meet him. They stood some way off and called to him, Jesus, Master, take pity on us. When he saw them, he said, Go and show yourselves to the priests. Now as they were going away, they were cleansed. Finding himself cured, 
One of them turned back, praising God at the top of his voice, and threw himself at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. The man was a Samaritan. This made Jesus say, Were not all ten made clean? The other nine, where are they? It seems that no one has come back to give praise to God except this foreigner. And he said to the man, Stand up and go on your way. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify these offerings, we pray, O Lord, which we joyfully present in honour of St. Martin, so that through them our life may always be directed whether in tribulation or in prosperity, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Martin you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
<clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts which we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> the mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. We pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us the eternal offspring, <coughs> so that we may obtain an inheritance with your Lord, especially with the most blessed Mary, mother of God. Blessed Joseph, with your blessed apostles, and glorious martyrs, with St. Martin, with St. Peter and St. Paul, and with all the saints, whose constant session in your presence we rely for unfailing. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all people. Be pleased to confirm the faith and charity of your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, Patrick, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen, gracious prayers of this family which are summoned to you. In your compassion, O mercy, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passage from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. Now we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, whom you bestow on the world for that <coughs> Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with you. Lamb of God, you take away to the world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away to the world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least of my brethren, you did it for me, says the Lord. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. <coughs>
Let us pray. <coughs> Grant to us who have been restored by this sacrament of unity, O Lord, perfect harmony with your will in all things, that just as St. Martin submitted himself entirely to you, so we too may glory in being truly yours, through Christ our Lord. Today, as we are aware, is the 11th of November, and today is the 102nd anniversary of Armistice Day. May I invite all those who are able at 11 o'clock, perhaps just to stop for a minute or two, and remember once again those who have died through armed conflict and war since that date. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. I just mention also on the theme of Armistice Day that uh, our Deanery Choir have recorded a selection of music and readings which is available on the Parish YouTube channel and hopefully be available also on the recordings channel of this site, churchservices.tv. So whether at 11 o'clock or sometime during the, later in the day, the, the whole compilation lasts about 35 minutes. So if you have, when you have that time, do please watch and join in as best you can.